Hi everybody, quick tutorial today on product images in Shopify. It's important to uh, have some things set up before you start uh, launching into putting all kinds of product photos on your page. And let me go through a few of the things that you want to think about. So this is a collection page and my website, goodlifetea.com. As you can see, the products here are relatively uniform and that's not by accident, that was through planning. Um, I'm using a square format here with a white background uh, on my picture so that it blends together on the page. Um, I like happen to like this because it gives a nice clean look. Um, but you can see here that this picture was not shot so as nicely as the other ones as these are nice and sm these are slightly smaller than this one. Um, but it's it's negligible, so I'm gonna let it slide. But one of the things you want to decide is, before you get going is your aspect ratio. Your aspect ratio is the, 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 the dimensions that are from this way to this way, height and width, height and width of the pictures, length and width of the pictures. So I'm using a square picture, so it's a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. I also like to use about 350 to 450 DPI. Uh, uh, those are pixels. 450 being the high side on the pixels. The more pixels, the larger the file, the larger the file, the longer the load time, the longer the load time, um, the more likely your customers are gonna uh, click away from your page. So now that we're, especially in a mobile environment, uh, you can get away with smaller pictures, but just keep in mind that the pictures have to be large enough to appear nicely on a desktop. So it's kind of a fine balance. I'm finding that 350 to 450 uh, pixels is about the right size um, on a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. So whatever you do, pick your aspect ratio and stick to it because you don't want to have pictures that are uh, wide and narrow and, and a jumble of things. It won't render nicely on your collection page. And also decide what you're going to do with your colors for the background. I chose white on um, white to kind of give this nice clean look. Um, that might not be what you want to do. So having said that, let me just go over here to show you um, what the product actually looks like. Uh, this is picture is uh, 350 DPI and it's relatively clear. Um, unfortunately, T is a, a mumble jumbo of uh, greens and browns, so there's not much to see, but it does give you an idea that these are loose leaf teas and, and the picture is relatively is clear enough for most people to, to um, get an idea what the tea is. Now, here's the product page. So to get to the product page, you on the sidebar menu, you pick products and then you type in the um, product you're trying to find. Use the magnifying, hit enter, and your product will come up. And once it comes up, click it and you will get a product page similar to this. So to add the image, you go to add images here and you can pick an image from one of your files. I happen to use Google. Google Drive, so I got lots of files here. They're not rendering quickly, but you get the idea. The files will populate here and you pick a file and uh, that'll be your picture that you load up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick um, um, a picture here uh, from my downloads. Um, this has nothing to do with this picture, but I'm gonna pick this picture of a dress. Okay, just to kind of give you an idea so how to load an image. So there you see the image. Now, I, when you hover over the image with your mouse, you'll see a bunch of things here. If you use this button here, the edit image, it's gonna open up a, a browser uh, editor. And in here, you've got some bunch of tools. You're gonna wanna use these two tools to make the pictures the right size. Um, what I like to do is I like to um, crop my pictures into a one-to-one -one ratio. And you can see here, all the ratios are one-to-one. -one. If you pick 240, that's gonna be 240. You can always spread it out, make it larger. And now this picture is telling me that it's um, something a little bit larger. It says that, so there, there's a square, there's some white on the edge. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim that up. Oh, there's a little bit of white here. So I'm gonna trim that. 
And now I've got a, a picture. If I wanted to highlight the dress, which is what I want to do in this particular image, um, this is for somebody else's website, by the way. So you do this. Now the image is of the dress. And go ahead and hit the Apply button. Let me just trim this down a little bit. I might be getting a little bit of white in there. So go ahead and do that. Hit the Apply button. And now you've got a cropped image that's square of the dress. And square is an aspect ratio of 1 to 1. And now let's see what the size is. It's 240 by 240. It's a little bit on the smaller side than I like, but will certainly render nicely. So you hit the Apply button and hit the Save button. Now you'll see that the image will be will, will change on your screen. We got rid of the face, which could be distracting if you're trying to highlight the skirt. And now this is on my Oolong page, but uh, nonetheless, you get the idea. Now, if I want to make this the primary image, you simply just drag and drop it into that spot. And now this is the primary image. And there's other things here that you might want to do. Alt text image. This is something that somebody, most people skip. You should have a great description of the product. Google cannot read pictures, but it loves to index them. So if you go ahead and put some words in there on this particular image here, um, I didn't do that. And I'm sorry, this should say something like um, orange blossom loose leaf Oolong tea sold by the ounce. Now that's a great description because I sell loose leaf tea as opposed to tea bag tea. So now when somebody clicks on that picture and Google searches it and they find that picture, they know exactly uh, where what the picture is for. It's to buy loose leaf tea from me. And uh, it'll lead them right to my homepage here. So now that we've uh, change this image out. I just want to show you what the picture, the product page looked like before. Um, the product page looked like this, if you remember, with the T as the main image. Now I'm going to hit this as a refresh. And you will see, I hope, oops, forgot to do this. I forgot to save this page, I guess. Did I save it? I did save it. So let's see what's going on here. Let's refresh this page. And this should actually give me the correct image. Hmm, something glitchy is going on here with, with, um, with um, um, Shopify. Let's close that. Let's refresh this page here and see if the collection page renders correctly. Yeah, there it is. So it's just a little glitch in the system. You see now if I click this on my collection page, my orange blossom tea page shows the dress. Kind of useless, I know, but just to give you an idea what's going on. So you see that the square picture fits in kind of nicely with the title and some of the text. And then there's the second image. If I click that, I get the second image back. So that's a quick tutorial on how to do that. I hope you liked it and good luck. If you have any questions, drop me comments.